Hi, so I'm going to do a demo here of uh, how long it takes for the traffic manager failover to actually fail over. So I do have uh, four VMs here. So I have four VMs and four cloud services. So you'll notice if I go to the web browser here, I have um, each one of these URLs, web4, web3, web2, web1, and they, they all have a uh, a index page that exposes what web server it's on and they're load balanced or failed over via this URL so these four websites here are referred to by this one URL uh, via load balance or uh, failover so if you look at my traffic manager and I have this particular instance of traffic manager with the four endpoints and configured with this particular URL and the failover priority is uh, web 1, web 2, web 3, web 4 so if I go back to my browser here you notice uh, this URL that does the load balancing referring to the other four web servers if I refresh uh, you'll notice it refers to web 1 so what I'm going to do is uh, take down the first web server. So let me go about doing that. And um, I am going to shut down this web server. So as that web server is shutting down, I am going to uh, constantly hit refresh here. And actually, it'd be good for me to hit refresh here and see if it fails. So you'll see it's spinning because it can't contact the web server. And this particular referral is direct the direct URL. So let's see what happens here. So this is also spinning. It. Um, because the web server above here is being stopped right now so it can't reload so at least we know that failed and how long will this take to actually fail over to web 2 and once again it failed and you'll notice above here it shows that it stopped so it's going to be unreachable and I am going to constantly hit refresh and perhaps um, you know it, it might be the caching of IE so let me do it here with I, I mean the caching of uh, the Google Chrome so let me do it here and see how long it takes for traffic manager to figure it out so it's still spinning in this case um, and if I go to traffic manager see whether it has detected that the first instance is offline so it hasn't really detected that the first instance is offline yet and if I look at um, okay so there's a 300 second for time to live uh, and uh, this might be a little bit of the issue Yeah, so um, let's see if it will actually do it in the uh, five minutes that the time to live. So it, it might be constantly querying. Okay, so this is degraded. And let's see if it corresponds to the request here. So it does. So it took less than five minutes actually. And the traffic manager. So when this pulls up here, actually, let me try again here. So you'll see 
it pulled it up. Now let me try it again and see what happens. So you'll, you'll see that's how it fails over. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop two of the servers. Web 2 and Web 3. And most likely it'll detect it. So real, really, um, it, it really depends on when the traffic manager detects that the endpoints are actually in an unreachable state. And I, I think depending on where I am, maybe it'll take a max of five minutes because it's pinging it. Uh, likely every five minutes but if um, I was two minutes into the five minutes or three or four minutes into the five minutes then maybe it'll detect it a little bit quicker and uh, actually while it's doing that let me show you how to configure the failover so if I go into traffic manager here and I know I'm jumping around but it probably takes a while to uh, detect it uh, so if I'm in traffic manager here and click new just click the quick create and I'm just gonna create another name for this instance dev demo fail over. and I'm gonna choose fail over here and this isn't gonna do anything it's just gonna create the instance and I have to go into the instance here and click endpoints and I'm going to have to add the endpoint so I could choose what type of service I have and I'm going to choose the cloud service here where I, I know my VM instances actually correspond to each one of these cloud instances web 1, web 2, web 3, web 4 so I'm going to choose all of them here and it's going to add all of these instances and you'll notice while it's checking that when I go to configure, here I can configure the time to live, which is when it pings for the DNS. Um, but also here, with the endpoints, I can move these up and down, so I could swap the positions of these. Um, but also, there there's a monitoring feature here where um, I, I could detect whether the site is up or down via a particular file from root. So if I put a particular file there, it'll just periodically ping and um, detect whether uh, the so that's the determination of whether the site is up or down um, so there you go that's really how you set up the traffic manager and if I go to endpoints now you'll notice this turn red uh, degrade it if I go to the endpoints let's see if okay that's good so let me go back to my web browser here and um, pull up a new page referencing the traffic manager URL and it goes to web 4 and if I go to Internet Explorer it also goes to web 4 so that's the failover demo and um, I hope that helps thank you for watching